Hey everyone, uh, Barry here with Geek Out Studio, uh, going over the my Space Marine armor build log. I think this is number two, whatever, and going over how I'm kind of uh, hiding and smoothing out the seam lines. Um, what I did was I just used this uh, DAP wallboard uh, joint compound and. I'll show you here in a minute how uh, on the other leg how I actually applied it, but this is the uh, the final product after uh, after it dried and I've sanded it. Uh, you'll probably notice that uh, this little seam right here is still an issue, uh, but a little bit more sanding. Uh, but as you can see, it it it's basically filled in the uh, the seam. And through you know a whole lot of sanding with a, uh, I think I am using a 120 grit, uh, sand it down uh, the seams uh, to where they're you know nice and smooth and flush with everything. Uh, now this is just the uh, the first stage. Uh, I'll probably do another stage where I actually kind of actually try and cover. The uh, the seam line uh, completely with a with another product, but again this is the final product. You can kind of see in the background uh, the knee. I'll turn it around to show the back of the shin. So, but basically. The joint compound is going to go in and basically like this seam right here, it'll it'll fill in and help smooth that out. Uh, like this, you can see how there's a bit of a canyon almost right there. That between the joint compound and the smooth uh, sanding, that should uh, that whole seam should get uh, smoothed out. So, yeah, we'll get uh, set up and I'll show you how I apply it and be right back in just a second. Okay, for this process, pretty much you're just going to need a, uh, a medium or small uh, putty knife. I got a rag uh, just to uh, kind of help clean up and everything. And <clears throat> basically, I just kind of drag it along the side. Where you get, you don't want too much, you don't really need too much, and then just kind of like you would any other uh, spackle or other uh, drywall compound, and you just smooth it on there, kind of like buttering toast, if you would. And if you get any See, like we got a little blob up here. That's where you just take your uh, your rag, and this stuff is pretty wet, and you just wipe it right off. Uh, and as you can see, I'm actually going across the line, not down it, uh, because again, I want I want the seam to uh, get filled, but I also want to try and uh, fill it and even it out with the other part of the armor. So like this seam, there's a bit of a, a raised between this side and that side. So I'm just going to try and fill that in. So we take it, just go across. And this stuff sands very well, so you don't have to be overly, overly professional and clean about it. Also, um, it will uh, return to a paste at, even after it dries uh, if you apply some water to it. So there's there's a bit of that added property bonus, whatever you want to say. So, but just go 
cross all the seams and then come back and sand it so hope this uh, helps uh, let me know what you think if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below uh, be sure to like and subscribe that way you're uh, you can keep updated with my other uh, videos that I keep putting out uh, and also be sure to share this to, uh, for all the other armor builders out there. So till then, I'll see y'all next time.